as hell beats dying. Harry puts on ice become part of COP26 due to William's perceived threat. Queen Elizabeth has told world leaders at the COP26 summit in Glasgow that now is the time for action on climate change. Speaking in a video message to world leaders, she called on them to create a safer, stable a future for the planet. The monarch noted, none of us will live forever. But we are doing this not for ourselves but for our children and our children's children, and those who will follow in their footsteps. She also raised eyebrows after failing to mention Prince Harry. In her video address, the Queen revealed she couldn't be more proud of her son, Prince Charles, and eldest grandson, Prince William, and also praised the environmental efforts of her late husband, Prince Philip. But Prince Harry's name was notably absent. It is a source of great pride to me that the leading role my husband played in encouraging people to protect our fragile planet, lives on through the work of our eldest son Charles and his eldest son William, Her Majesty said. I could not be more proud of them. Prince Charles and Prince William have met with world leaders in Glasgow during the COP26 climate change summit. The Prince of Wales and his son have taken on more work during the conference after Queen Elizabeth II was forced to miss it due to doctor's advice. Now, Prince Harry has made sure he is part of the climate change plan after welcoming delegates of the Centre for Compassion and Altruism Research and Education, CARE, into a conversation about climate change. CARE tweeted, Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, welcomed realizing a compassionate planet delegates to a conversation related to climate health and mental health, facilitated by Dr. James Doty. Over the years, the Duke of Sussex has launched a number of initiatives tackling the climate crisis, and has previously described it as one of the world's two most pressing issues. Richard Eden claimed the 37-year-old prince and his wife Meghan Markle would have hated not being present at COP26 due to the high-profile platform it offers. In a recorded video message for world leaders, the Queen praised her son Prince Charles and her grandson Prince William for their contribution to the climate debate and their environmental activism. Speaking of Harry's response on the Mail Plus podcast Palace Confidential, Diary editor Richard Eden said, they will have hated not being at COP26, I mean just the chance to talk to the whole world with Prince William there. The Queen talked about how her husband's environmental concerns were being built on by his son Prince Charles and his grandson Prince William. No mention of Harry, even though the environment is something that he's felt very strongly about through the years, has spoken about and he's even launched initiatives like Travelist to try and do something for the environment. So I think that will have been hard for him. Both Charles and William have conducted a number of engagements throughout the week, which has included attending Stella McCartney's Sustainable Fashion Show, meeting Earthshot Prize finalists, and hosting meetings with world leaders. The Duke of Sussex is also a passionate advocate for sustainability and the environment and has given several speeches on the matter both during his royal career and post megxit During an interview with Oprah Winfrey for the Apple TV Plus series The Me You Can't See, he said, with kids growing up in today's world, pretty depressing, right, depending on where you live, your home country is either on fire, it's either underwater, houses or forests are being flattened. Harry and Meghan have previously come under criticism for their use of private jets. In the summer of 2019, they took four private jets in the space of 11 days, which included visiting Elton John's home in the south of France. The prince has defended these trips, saying that he flies commercial 99% of the time and launched his own sustainable travel company, Travelist.